hi guys i know it's been such a long time since i vlogged i just have to share this like i have to i have to i feel so i don't know whether i want to say i'm stupid or yeah generally in the realms of being stupid okay you know i should call this moment as like i need a i need a gum i need a gum to like you know make myself be better like i'm still like having some sweet so as you can see from the title since anyway i've not, not even been putting up any anything online just like i said i just want to add something to kind of remind me of like not really now that i'm thinking about it it's my stupid stupidity but it's just something to like remind me of stories like funny stories or memories okay so <laughs> i don't know how to like i don't know how to share this story let me think okay so i got a it's not a friend request it's just like some someone just right off the bat just talk to me on fb messenger and this guy has a um name or like a, a what do you call like a profile name same as my friend so it's like i thought it was kind of his deal where you know he makes more than one facebook account to because he's playing a game online you know so a lot of people do that like just make a lot of accounts and you know like um i don't know what you call it like to improve their uh game standings or something like that so i legit i legit thought it's my friend so i've been talking to this guy for like a couple of months now like about four three four months and i genuinely thought it was my friend as the conversations were but my friend is uh from malaysia so he knows malay words so Thinking about it now that every time when I said some Malay words, this guy is Indian. Apparently, he's actually from India. I mean, you can you can be a India, uh, you can be an Indian guy from Singapore, and you 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 know certain words. And I don't even, I don't even uh thought about like looking at his profile to go in further to think to think about like if he's from here or from there. That you know, it could be like he just put it like he's from India and just you know like just for the sake of like whatever but you know he puts all these old pictures and stuff like that conversations got weird today because he kept giving his pictures when he was younger so i said to my friend i said to him it's like why are you sharing pictures of when you are young i don't like it i prefer your i prefer you now you know doesn't matter like i mean i mean my friend is definitely older than the guy in the picture for sure but so I don't care. I don't mind. We are friends, like you know. But this guy has been disturbing me for like for a couple of months that I didn't realize is actually not even my friend to begin with. It's like this guy has shared to me like his house things and um work stuff a bit and here and there and like just some funny quotes. So I thought it's really my friend because my friend likes to share things that are like funny and like just like pictures from you know like quotes and stuff and or like um memes you know so i thought like it's legitly my friend it's like i'm convinced it's him so <laughs> it's like it dawned to me like today like that i realized it's not my friend it's like it's like to the stage of like okay i'm not fooling myself this is not my friend it's like the way the conversation is going is like he kept asking my picture the thing about me is that i don't like to share pictures to my friends male friends or anyone from the internet basically or anyone from online i basically do not uh share pictures of myself that i have let's say for example like i'm taking a selfie that to send to this guy so i don't i don't do that you know just because i think like if you're my friend or if you know me why would you want to have my picture or like what do you want my picture for i have never it has never dawned to me think that this guy 
do not know me and he actually wants my picture like personally that I sent the picture to him I just feel so stupid right now thinking that you know I immediately message my good friend girlfriend as a mutual friend that knows that knows this uh, that knows my friend as well my male friend so my girlfriend saying like there is just no that is not like our friend and I was saying like I mean like who would have thought like he could just be asking pictures and you know just striking conversation and so I just you know taking things like me and so so I was and he was like I th- second thing I thought like my friend's account FB account could have been hacked so I was like maybe I should really ask him whether he has how many accounts does he have like is this his account it's like so many months now talking to him and I didn't re- I hadn't even thought that you know having second guessed that it is not my friend <laughs> never you know it's like I just have like conversations like it's just like light conversations it felt like it's true that this guy doesn't know me because it's like he never asked me about things that that are going through like maybe like you know stuff like I even had like saying like oh it's been such a long time since we have met you know the last time we met uh it was like new year so why not you know we meet again it's like it's been a few months now how's work and stuff and worry about you you know kind of thing and then all the time he's been saying yeah I'm fine he's just a bit busy now I'm on site now when he said he's on site now I really thought that my friend is actually working in the airport so I thought he was really working at the site you know like going around and uh, to his his workplace is outside you know like not really part of his office or whatever like he has to go outside and do stuff so I really thought it's legit is my friend so I'm not I didn't question him whatever whatever so I was like I was sold you know but I never sent him like pictures of myself because but, I, but I'm always like playing around I always send stupid pictures or pictures of like buildings and stuff that's just me I just I just you know try to do that but it feels so stupid now like <laughs> I don't know whether to laugh or to cry you know what I mean but um, being said that having said that like but this guy had no malicious intent so I'm really lucky in the sense that he hasn't like you know like said like why not let's meet up or can we meet up or um he want to do some weird things to me he has he has not that kind of malicious thought so that was why I really was convinced that he was my friend and also that he the way he conversed with me uh you know he's always that concerned and stuff like like uh, like when I say something like happened to me during the day and like I feel bad or whatever then he's very concerned and it's like saying what happened babe like he used the word babe like he knows me like that's what my friend would call me so it's like I thought like, I was like yep you know that's my friend I feel so like convinced you know but thinking like <laughs> I don't know what to say but like <sighs> so but anyway like I'm, I've gotten all stories cleared, you know, from my own friend and he actually, I, I told him like, dude, call me up, you do not want to mess with me, I'm very, very pissed right now, <laughs> so he called me up and we talked about like, good 10 minutes about it, so, it's, I feel so stupid, but like, at the same time, I'm thinking like, this guy, like, he disturbed me, he literally disturbed me from then, from here and there, like, as in like once in a while he will disturb me if he sees me online I guess because it's like Facebook you can actually see people online so he disturbs me like when he sees me online on like uh, you know when I'm active and stuff so he will like kind of like say hi and like says how I might and stuff like I will mention I will say that I'm good like how are you I'm good too that kind of thing it's like it's a very light conversation but not to that whatever like uh, bad or able powers or whatever but it's just like you know friends like it's but it just like i felt like it just catfished because secretly catfished because i thought all the time he was my friend so <laughs> i mean it's my it is very funny it's not scary it, at first i thought i felt it was scary because i just want i just want people to be honest to me like what is going on like what the hell is going on it's like 
just I just want two of these guys to be very honest to me that was like my end goal but they were honest to me so and I felt like I was out and then from feeling scared I felt like it's funny you know I feel like I felt like it's I didn't lose anything at the end of the day I didn't lose anything but it's like I felt like I did gain a friend I was telling him hey you know you should have told me you actually don't know me and you're just trying to get to know me I'd be more I think I'm more uh, friendly I'd be more how to get, accepting of that rather than thinking that all the time you were my friend and whatever conversations I tried to like kind of link to our like perhaps the things that we used to do at accounting or the things like he likes like my friend likes and this guy has had like not ever a good or positive kind of reaction so I'm like I'm a, but I always pass it off I say like okay whatever conversations always get lost yada yada so and I was thinking like I remember this one specifically thing that was like kind of like when I'm angry or I'm when I'm pissed or I just want to say all the things like at one time I just spoke in I spoke in Malay all the words and this guy just said huh I was like he did not it's like i was thinking whether he doesn't he understand because perhaps he doesn't understand the shot from some you know the way i'm putting the words or but he can understand when i talk to him or rather like he, now that thinking about it he just don't understand really <laughs> at all so <laughs> hilarious stupid but you know what can a girl do just like laugh it off it just I don't know, it's just, it's like at last I feel like the mystery has solved itself. Like, <laughs> I get the clarifications that I need. But it's just, it's just funny to see how it all, it's like, I went up and look at our conversations like, like, for sure, now I get it. Like, why certain things get just hang and like, conversations get hanging and like, I didn't even want to ask him further, like the kind of thing. It's not that I'm uninterested to talk to my friend, but it's like sometimes I just perhaps don't know what to talk about. I mean, now I know why because I don't know what to tell him or I don't have much things to tell because it's not like a girlfriend you can kind of like you know, uh, bitch about things and like share about feelings and stuff. So, but like for a guy, it's a bit different. The conversations go flow very differently. So. And especially talking online is a bit, you know, like I don't really trust kind of even if talking to anyone really online, like on Messenger or like on the phone. So I read, I prefer that whatever that is like very personal to be talking instead like face to face, like conversations to have a bit like face to face rather than on, uh, on, on the phone. So that is hilarious AF. I'm like, but I, um, <laughs> I'm like I'm kind of accept, I'm kind of accepting it, but I just feel stupid initially. But now that thinking about it, it's like, yeah, you know, it's like I assume so much, yet I didn't get any clarifications needed. So that is pretty much I said to that guy. Uh, yeah, it's eighty percent your fault, twenty percent is my fault. <laughs> I just laugh it off. Like, I think that he might be questioning that whether I will will I talk to him still if he does like bother me online again or says hi but I think I will still talk to him but of course it's like the conversations will be different and um, not really kind of like <laughs> it'll be a bit weird but in a sense like I'm not gonna be like so comfortable <laughs> with this guy Did you know I mean like that's just how it is it's just I barely know this guy and this guy doesn't know me so it's like yeah, dude Oh gosh, this is too hilarious and so stupid. But anyway, I just thought of sharing it. You know, like since it's been such a long time since I've vlogged or recorded anything, so I've been good. I hope you guys have been good. I've uh, been very busy with myself, work, and pretty much. I don't know. I just I'm so focused on myself. That it's been it's been great it's been very very fortunate and uh getting in touch with people that i've lost touch and um that was really good and you know every day i can just do one that bit you know what i mean so yeah and um 
Valentine's Day was over, yes. It's like, it's just literally just a day of like, some people like in my culture, some would say like it's just a day, you shouldn't be celebrating it, it doesn't origin from our culture and stuff, I know religion and stuff like that, but like I see other people as well like celebrating and like having flowers and stuff, do you feel envious? No, not really, I mean like, but truth to be said, I was really ready for the day to be over. How I spent the day? Well, I remember like I knew it fell on Wednesday and Wednesday happened to be my gym day, so it's like very obvious if you go to the gym and you're like you know on a treadmill you're pretty much single AF but like I don't care I don't really care really but like but at least I spend it that way and anyway that Wednesday was happened to be not just nice it's like Thursday the next day was a half day it was a Chinese New Year's Eve and um and Friday was like Chinese New Year so it's like I was really very those closed days like that I was very like happy because it's just gonna be like yeah like resting days you know like just yeah I pretty much spent most of my days in the gym actually like Wednesday I went to the gym Thursday then Friday I went out Friday I went out for a great walk maybe about three three and a half km and then Saturday and Sunday went to the gym and the rest of the time is just at home just resting I think I went to the library written some books for some books and stuff so pretty much that's it that's it and eat and just rest so that was a great weekend well spent so I don't know what else I'll be contributing much to my channel because I feel like as time goes, this channel has become something else and something else, but well, it's just that, you know, I don't really kind of like, like if, if a stranger want to know me, I think this is the best platform. If you, if like, you don't, know, you don't know me right off the bat, I think this is a great platform to know how stupid I am, especially for, you know, but yeah, I mean like, even then, given my stability and stuff, I'm quite proud of myself because I'm quite cautious. I don't say personal things online. I think that's the best lesson to best lesson to to to, to learn from this. It's like don't send personal things online, even if you really really trust the person you're talking to. Uh, to share pictures that you know it's gonna implicate you maybe your personal pictures or maybe selfies yeah but like other than that i think you've got to be very very careful things that can be shared you know like personal stuff you know mother's name maiden name birthdays all these kind of things you know some of the things that are few you know you gotta have be you gotta be more just more more careful um in things you share so Having said that, I have to adios because it's going to be a 20 minutes. I've never vlogged that long. It's not, It's just a story time. Literally, I hope you're not bored to death yet. So, thanks for watching and I will see you guys real soon. Ciao!